Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. a lazy man's way of looking for straight cattle. You give a lazy man a job and he'll find a lazy way to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they ain't either lazy. Here, take a look. It's up to date. It's modern. Y'all are just behind the time. One-armed Johnny. One-armed Johnny? Oh, it can't be. Look. Well, what's so exciting about a fellow with one arm? Let me see. It is. Well, gee, Willikers. <laughs> hey, he's all white-like and he's leading a burrow. The legend is, whoever sees him usually ends up murdered. Oh, murdered. Murdered? Oh, my gosh, and I'm seeing him. Murdered? Oh! Come on, Nellie Bell, let's get out of here. Hey, it disappeared. Just like a ghost. That's what it's supposed to be, isn't it? it must have left some tracks. It's pretty rocky here, Dale. It's a dry bullet doesn't seem to pick up the tracks. <laughs> well, it was headed due east. Maybe somebody's playing a joke on it. If they are, they've got a pretty deadly sense of humor. You better report this to the sheriff. Yeah. Hey, you ain't leaving me here with no ghost. Come on, <laughs> Sorry, Clay. If I have to run into anyone, I'd much rather be somebody I didn't like. Say, hey, we just sighted one-armed Johnny. One-armed Johnny? Great guns, he ain't been around since my dad was knee-high to a frog. Well, he's around now. Or someone made up like him. Keep an eye out for him. If you see him or his burrow, get in touch with me or the sheriff. I will. If I live that long. Get out. What's the matter? Go ahead and ring him again. Somebody ought to answer. Hi, Sheriff. Oh, Roy, I was just trying to get you. Am I glad to see you? And you too, Miss Dale. I'm Dale. I, you, oh, yes, of course. Now, look, Roy. I told, I'm Pat. You, you're, there, oh, Sheriff. There you are. You know one thing, Roy? Ever since I went to the eye doctor and got these dad blame things, I can't see my hand before my face. Sherry, one arm Johnny turned up again. Where'd you hear that? Where'd you see him? Where'd you see him? Well, out on the range. We all saw him. Well, in that case, it might have been accidental. You're safe for a while, anyway. What do you mean, safe? Well, about a week ago, old Fran Kelso seen the ghost of one-armed Johnny across in his pasture. And three days later, his house went up and smoking him with it. You don't believe those old stories, do you, Sheriff? What do you mean, old stories? Nobody tells me nothing. Well, Pat, back in 1872, one-armed Johnny Martin and his burrow were killed on their way to the old Apache gold mine, which he claimed he discovered. And since that time, a number of people claimed to have seen his ghost. And every one of them met up with some kind of a fatal accident. Hey, Sheriff! <laughs> Oh, Pat. Yeah? What's wrong? Came across him just as he was cashing in his chips. Said his horse threw him. Jim Neely. He asked us to ride in and say he'd just seen one-armed Johnny, whoever that is. Zeb, get him over to the coroner. You fellows are strangers in town, ain't you? Yeah, just in from Arizona, looking for a job. I'm Hal Creston. This here is Earl Hawk. Where'd you find Jim Neely? Oh, out in the range, about a mile from East Forks. Boy, that's where we saw one-armed Johnny. Oh, I think I'll sit down. 
Roy, that's my phone. Get it, will you? I want to talk to these fellas. <laughs> I can't die yet. Hello? Sheriff's office. Oh, yes, Mr. Gurney. You have to come over right away. I just saw one-armed Johnny. One-armed Johnny? All right. right here getting these account books ready for auditing when I looked up and saw him and his burrow staring in at the window. They were all white and ghostly. Don't say that! Mr. Gurney, you're business manager for Kelso, Neely and Palmer, aren't you? Well, that's right. Their spreads aren't large enough they can afford separate managers, so I work for all three of them. I... Why? Well, Jim Neely's dead. No. First Kelso, and now, now Neely. Uh, Neely saw Johnny, too. So did we. <laughs> and I feel half dead already. Sheriff, you've got to do something. I'm a marked man. Hey, Pat, I better stick around here with Mr. Gurney. You're not staying with me. I'm going into town with the sheriff. And I'd advise you to ride between the sheriff and Pat on the way in. No, no, you don't. There ain't no ghost gonna sneak up on me from behind. Remember, I've seen it, too. Mm. Through spy glasses, of course. Well, I'll be back as soon as I check with the coroner on Jim Neely. In that case, as long as you're coming right back, I'll stay here with you. <laughs> I've lost my neckerchief someplace. Mm. Where'd you lose it? Now, if I knew where I lost it, I'd go find it. <laughs> Maybe I dropped it outside. I'll take a look for you. All right. Hey, hey, wait a minute, Dale. Don't you go out there. Y you need protection. You need men. <laughs> uh, what am I saying? Come on, Mr. Gurney. Hey, what's the idea, Roy? Take these into the bank auditor. Have him check them. You think Gurney's mixed up in these killings? There's always a reason for murder. Hurry. Oh. Back way. Oh. Any luck? No. What's the idea? I want you and Pat to stay here. I may need your help. Okay. Here it is, Roy. Thanks. Oh, gee whiz, that's a relief. I could just feel that silk neckerchief around my Adam's apple making beautiful applesauce. <laughs> you see there? He knows they're out there because animals can spot spooks quicker than humans. My cousin died, our dog howled all night. Of course, I don't believe in ghosts. Hello? Who? Oh, yes, he's here. It's for you, Roy. Thanks. Hello? Sheriff? You drew a blank that time, Roy. Gurney's books are all in order. Oh. Well, I guess I was wrong. Well, everything's fine here, so far. Okay, I'll be seeing you. You were just checking to see if everything was all right. Well, does he have to scare us half to death just to find out how we are? Oh, Pat, you're almost as nervous as bully. What's the matter with that dog? Wait a minute, Roy. You can't go out there. You're in as much danger as I am. <laughs> yeah, Roy, Johnny, that to you, same as Dale, Gurney, and me. We all seen him. The only way to tackle a ghost, if there is such a thing, is to go meet him. Oh, oh. You can't let him go out there alone. All right, I'll go. Faithful to the end, that's me. This could be the end. Go on. Miss Dale, if you don't mind, I think I'll lie down for a while. I have a head I couldn't put in a barrel. Go ahead, take a nap. I'll be here if you need anything. Thanks. Bullet, 
We ought to go back to the house and protect Dale and Gurney instead of messing around out here where that spook can creep up on us. Hey, look. Bullet's heading for that brushy canyon. What do you see? Here, smell. Horses. Listen, you follow Bullet. I'll see what that was. Roy, this is going to be the death of me. There he comes now. Now, where did you and Earl hide that burrow? We left him down in Brush Canyon. Well, you better get him quick before that dog Rogers finds him. Take him over to Clay Plumbers. Okay. I don't want him to see you around here. You better go with Hal. Right. Hello, Hawks. What are you doing on Meet Gurney's ranch? Why, well, uh, I'm working for him. Is that so? When did he hire you? You were just in town looking for a job. You couldn't have gotten here before I did. You're alive. Gee, for a minute I thought you was done for. Hey, me and Bullock saw that there that there burrow, and Johnny was chasing it on a horse. We better get back to Dale and Gurney. Yeah, you better take it easy, Roy. Well, you sure did get caught. Yeah. Gurney. She's asleep. But well, don't do that, Roy. I almost shot you. I'm sorry, Mr. Gurney. But I wanted to make sure you were okay. Pat, would you say you saw one-armed Johnny? Well, he was in that brush canyon back of the barn. Well, I'm going to do a little more looking around. You better stay here with Dale. Don't you worry about no ghost, because that Dale can hit a cork out of a bottle at 30 yards. Dale, you better keep Bullet with you.
What's up, Sheriff? I saw you from the top of the hill. I thought you were keeping an eye on Gurney. I left him with Dale. We're on the trail of one-armed Johnny. Of course, we ain't caught up with him yet. But this time, he's leaving the trail, and he's heading straight towards Clay Palmer's place. Come on, Sheriff. Johnny? That's right. But you're going to phone the sheriff and say you just seen him. I'll tell him you're a fake. Oh, no, you're not. On your feet. One-armed Johnny's our alibi. Folks may not believe it, but they can't prove it either. Yeah, that spook's going to take the rap for us. All right, over to the phone. on those wells of Kelso and Neely, did you? No, I never thought of it. They could be the reason why they were killed.
Sheriff Brady. Kill the sheriff. Come on. Kill the sheriff. Kill the sheriff. Kill the sheriff. What happened to you? Oh, Gurney shot me. That blast him. Wait, I'll get a bandage. the galoot that we're on his side? But he isn't on ours, Pat. You're dead right, I'm not. I see you took good care of my boys. I got here just in time. Get over them. What'd you do? Get Kelso, Neely, and Palmer to make you administrator of all their holdings? Where did you find those papers? I didn't. But I knew between the three ranches you were handling a lot of money. Money you wanted to get your hands on. Well, aren't you smart? Get over there with Brady. And as administrator, you were in full control. So you revived the legend of one-armed Johnny. Yeah, and you tried to put the blame on that poor spook. I'll get away with it, too. That's what they all say, but they never do. You'll end up just like the rest of them on the wrong end of a rope. You've got it all figured out, haven't you, Rogers? Well, so have I. I'm going to make it look like the two of you were shot by these gunslingers I hired. Oh, now, wait a minute. Can't we talk this over? <laughs> That's the end of the legend of one-armed Johnny. I hope so. Oh, Roy. I certainly want to thank you for putting me wise to Gurney. You know what I can't understand is why Gurney didn't just steal that money. He didn't want some money. He wanted all of it. You know, it's a funny thing about greed. It sort of grows on you. Starts out when you're young by wanting somebody's baseball bat or football that doesn't belong to you. Then later on wanting somebody's job. First thing you know, you're wanting everything in sight. What happened to Mead Gurney? So long, Roy, Dale, and thanks again. So long, Quay. Bye. <laughs> what in the world are you up to now, Pat? Well, I tried to load these three Jaspers in Alabama, but she just wouldn't stand for it. She preferred the burl. <laughs> Be sure and keep your hat on so the folks will know you. <laughs> Happy trails to you, till 